वीविंग ऑफ पैठणी द स्टोरी ऑफ अ मास्टर पीस पैठण पैठण इज अ स्मॉल टाउन सिचुएटेड इन द मराठवाडा रीजन ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड इज वेल नोन फॉर इट्स पैठणी साड़ीज एंड एज अ स्पिरिचुअल सेंटर ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ द रिवर गोदावरी इट ट्रेसेस इट्स ओरिजिन टू ऑलमोस्ट टू थाउजेंड ईयर्स बैक इट वॉज नोन एज प्रतिष्ठना द कैपिटल ऑफ सतवाहनाज other dynasties such as the yadavas nizams and the peshwas left a significant mark on the town paithan since the 16th century is especially renowned for its pure silk creations known as the paithani sarees the saree hand woven in pure silk and having distinctive motifs is famous as an elite garment for special occasions it stands as a testimony to time as the motifs and the garment itself are ageless and relatable even today It has been patronized by the royals ever since time immemorial and has been portrayed in various paintings and art. In this documentary, we see how a paithani is created by the weavers. Weaving a paithani is a time-consuming process of which the first part is preparing the bana. The weft or the bana is prepared by passing a single silk thread through tapes which are stone blocks with wooden handles and twirling it with a second thread. This process is repeated multiple times creating the warp thread of 2 4 or 5 ply thickness wrapped around the tassel It is then wound on a winding machine and wrapped around the wooden bobbins or the kandya These kandya are used in the shuttle dhota for weaving It takes 3 to 4 days to be prepared The more the ply of the bana, the thicker the fabric of the sarees. Generally, three or five ply bana is used for weaving a paithani. I have one bobbin left. Where is the bobbin left? 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 The silk for the sarees is obtained from Bangalore. The silk today is pre-sorted and pre-dyed. in a large variety of colors due to the availability of chemical dyes earlier silk used to be dyed by organic dyes in the city itself but this craft has been lost to us today ye je hai na ye kaadi nahi sapadle mai ikudun lagat aste na ikudun lagle kachi kaadi mai ye kiti asto jagle kiti yaar nahi nahi yada evlo kon nahi The tana is soaked and dried in sun, and then wrapped and unwrapped several times around a rod to smoothen the kinks. It is then wrapped around a reel, doll very tightly to maintain its tension. Unequal tension in the tana may cause the fabric to warp. Hence, undue care must be taken to maintain the tana under equal stress. Hello. 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 Hello.
The Tana has 17 and a half bundles of 90 threads which are then spread over this beam. This created the warp of fabric which is two ply thick. The Tana is then passed through the headers or the funny by joining. This process is known as Zodni. Zodni is one of the most time-consuming processes in the preparation of the loom and takes up to a day to complete. Today, very few experts in Zodni are available in Python. Each thread of the Tana has to be individually twisted and joined to its counterpart in the reed. While joining, the warp is alternated in direction and connected to different frames and pedals and this creates the interlocking pattern of the fabric. The first element of the sari to be woven is the pallu or the padar. The padar is woven in zari weft over a silk warp. The zari was traditionally silver with a wash of gold but today has a base of copper. The padar contains distinctive motifs of paithani such as mor, bangdi mor, kamal, aswali and akruti. The padar is one of the most intricate and time-consuming part of a paithani to be woven and takes from 2 weeks to 2 months to weave. It depends on the length, level of detail and intricacies of the motifs. The motifs are in silk bana over a base of gold zari and while weaving, the weaver counts the number of threads by feeling them with his fingertips. This is a skill acquired over years of practice. The simplest motif they say are the buttis and the tota while the most difficult to weave is the bangri mo. Now the body of a paithani is the next part. The body is defined by a border on its edge. If the body of the sari is plain, a throw shuttle is used. However, if buttis are present, then each butti is hand woven in zari. In a day's work, the weaver weaves 2 inches of padar and around 5 to 6 inches of body on an average. The tana is checked for equal tension by feeling it with fingers. If found to be unequal, the relevant reel on the atta is tightened. After every 3 to 4 inches, the zari is polished with a mixture of gum and water to stiffen and preserve it. Paithani takes anything from 3 weeks to a year to finish weaving based on the length of padar, level of details in the motifs and the thickness of a border. This sari has been woven in 3 months on request of a customer. The sari is carefully unwrapped from the cloth crawler to tie, clean and folded.
Golden Box. Hai.